Picturing Us in the Light is a poignant young adult novel penned by Kelly Loy Gilbert and released in 2018 through Little, Brown Books for Young Readers. With a focus on the Asian American youth experience, Gilbert's narrative delves into the life of protagonist Danny Ching, offering a first-person perspective interwoven with illuminating flashbacks to China, unraveling a past shrouded in secrecy by his parents. Set in California during Danny's senior year of high school, life seems idyllic for the accomplished teenager. His parents, originally from China, beam with pride over his achievements. Surrounded by high-achieving friends like Harry and Regina, Danny's world is seemingly flawless, with acceptance to his dream school, the Rhode Island School of Design, and even recognition at a San Francisco art gallery for his portraits. However, the equilibrium shatters when Danny's father loses his job as a scientist, rendering them unable to afford their Cupertino rent. With relocation imminent to San Jose and a new high school on the horizon for Danny's senior year, the discovery of a box brimming with enigmatic papers in his father's possession throws Danny's world into disarray. Within it lie revelations about his deceased sister and a mysterious figure named Clay Ballard. Amidst the upheaval, Danny grapples with the impending separation from his cherished friends, particularly his strained relationship with Regina, haunted by guilt stemming from their friend Sanders' tragic suicide the previous year. As the narrative unfolds, themes of coming of age, familial bonds, and resilience take center stage, guiding Danny through a journey of self-discovery and understanding amidst the tumult of change. Regina approaches Danny with a request to sketch a portrait of Sandra for a special feature in the school newspaper, commemorating her life and passing. The proposal sparks controversy among the paper's staff, yet they unanimously decide to keep it under wraps from their supervising faculty member. Meanwhile, Danny wrestles with conflicting emotions towards his closest friend, Harry. Sensing a palpable connection with Harry whenever they're together, Danny fears that their impending moves to San Jose and later to RISD might spell the end of their friendship. Choosing to deceive his parents by pretending to attend his new school while secretly continuing at his current one, Danny finds himself on a quest to unearth the truth about Clay Ballard, the enigmatic figure mentioned in his father's documents, only to be met with dead ends. It's not until a chance reunion with a childhood acquaintance that Danny begins to unravel the mystery surrounding Clay Ballard. Shockingly, he learns that his parents are wanted in connection to an assault against Ballard, shedding light on their sudden departure from Austin, Danny's birthplace, and the tense atmosphere surrounding their relocation to San Jose. However, Danny's clandestine plan is exposed when the newspaper feature on Sandra goes public, prompting the school to alert his parents leading to a heated confrontation in the car, resulting in an accident that injures his mother. As paramedics arrive, Danny's parents refuse medical attention, unveiling a startling revelation. They no longer possess legal residency status and are living in the country without proper documentation. Determined to rectify the situation, Danny accompanies his mother to San Francisco to collect his artwork from the gallery exhibit's conclusion, only to stumble upon a pivotal clue. A sold portrait of his mother bears the name Ballard, igniting a renewed investigation into Clay Ballard's identity, eventually leading him to an Asian woman named Joy Ballard residing in California. He confronts his mother regarding Joy, and she discloses that Joy is his sister. Contrary to what Danny believed, his sister had never passed away. Instead, his parents left her in China under the care of his grandfather while they sought stability in America. However, upon their return to retrieve her, they were devastated to find out that Danny's grandfather had passed away, and his sister had been abducted by a man who sold her to an orphanage. She was subsequently adopted by an American family, the Ballads. Danny's mother reveals that their altercation with Clay Ballard resulted from an attempt to reclaim Joy when they located her at Clay's residence. Determined to meet his long-lost sister, Danny discovers that Joy is conducting field research in upstate California. Alongside Harry, he embarks on a journey to surprise her. During the trip, Danny struggles to express his feelings for Harry. Upon reaching their destination, Danny introduces himself to Joy, who, though courteous, expresses reluctance to engage with Danny's family. Disheartened, Danny returns home and informs his parents of his encounter with Joy, deciding to forego attending RISD to assist his family during this tumultuous time. The following morning, Danny wakes to find his parents gone, leaving behind money and a note explaining their departure. They aim to spare Danny from their burdens, allowing him to pursue his future at RISD without hindrance. The novel concludes with Joy, who
who had been searching for her biological family for years. Despite initially feeling resentful after an encounter with her biological father, she eventually tracks down Danny again, attending another of his art shows, signifying a hopeful reconnection between the siblings. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.